Most of what we learn in life is conditioning, and we're conditioned by repetition. It's just human nature that if you repeat something often enough, people will believe it, no matter how ridiculous it is. So a lot of my channel has been about trying to dispel some of the negative conditioning which people receive from the mass me media or from general consensus within society. And I thought now would be a good time to summarize many of the main themes in the past and talk about where I hope to take the channel in the future. One of the first videos I did was on peak oil, because peak oil is something so overwhelming that the mass media and general society can't bring themselves to really face it. And yet, it is an overwhelming event, and it is something that people need to be aware of and study and prepare for. Whether it's happening next year or ten years from now, it's going to have incredible impacts on our society. And so I would just urge, first of all, people to study peak oil. The oildrum.com is a good channel for that, peakoil.com. And I'll certainly continue to do videos on peak oil in the future and tie it into other trends in society. Closely related to peak oil is another trend in society which I hope to expand on greatly in future videos, and that is the ongoing economic collapse. Our monetary system is debt-based. It requires constant growth, and due to peak oil and a number of other factors which I've discussed in the past, we can't, we've reached the limits of growth, and our monetary system, our entire financial system, cannot continue much longer. It can be dragged out by inflating the currency, but there's only so much that you can do of that before the currency just devalues down to nothing. And I know that sounds a little bit dramatic, but a financial collapse really isn't that unusual by world standards. It happens all the time in various countries. Whenever you have a central bank and whenever you allow the banking industry to inflate the currency, you're eventually going to get a huge overhang of loans, you're going to reach a limit of growth, and you're going to have a financial collapse. It was inevitable that this would happen. We just haven't seen it in our lifetimes in America. So the media certainly isn't going to discuss it much, and general society, again, isn't really going to want to face it. But it's going to have enormous impacts on your life, and the window for preparing for those impacts is closing rapidly. So I'm going to do a lot more videos on the coming financial crisis and go into it in a lot more detail and share what I've observed in other countries when this kind of thing happens and ways in which people can prepare for it. The next major theme on my channel will continue to be health because people get more negative propaganda in this area than any other. Almost everything you hear related to health is either generated by agribusiness or by the pharmaceutical industry. First, agribusiness and the food processing industry creates unnatural, unhealthy foods, passes them off as being healthy through press agents and through media campaigns, and then when people inevitably develop degenerative diseases, they go to a medical industry which has been co-opted by the pharmaceutical companies and they get drugs which don't cure the problem and in fact long term make things worse. People don't really recognize, even if they have a sense of what's going on, very few people, I believe, recognize the full impact of what's happening to them. When the majority of elderly eventually develop Alzheimer's, when one half of one percent of American children are born with autism, when practically everyone you know has some type of inflammatory or autoimmune or degenerative disease, when five to ten thousand American children die every year due to complications from formula feeding, these are enormous problems which are never discussed. And the most unfortunate effect of all, I believe, is that few people reach their true physical or mental capacity due to our adulterated food supply and our poor nutrition. The answer to these problems is something you will never hear from any mainline information source. The answer is to make the radical transformation back to a natural diet, the kind of diet followed by our ancestors and by the societies today, which don't suffer from these diseases. Lastly, and probably most importantly, in my opinion, after you achieve economic stability and optimal health, both physical and neurological health, you can finally begin to focus on improving your state of consciousness. And again, unfortunately, you don't get a lot of great guidance from the main line today. A lot of religion is more about controlling people today than helping them elevate their state of consciousness.
And I'm also sorry I haven't been able to do as many videos on this in the past as I'd like to, but I certainly plan to focus on it in the future. I think, though, that the foundation of an improved state of consciousness is two things, ethics and health, neurological health, which comes from your diet. In my opinion and experience, no matter how many advanced and esoteric consciousness elevating practices you discover and follow, none of it will ultimately make a difference if you don't develop a foundation of ethics and secondarily neurological health through your diet. And I believe this is why traditional religions focused so much on ethics and teaching ethical behavior and diet. And I know there are exceptions to that, but that's really the heart of most original religions. And it's something that's been completely lost in society today. The, the study of ethics is inconsequential, and the study of diet is inconsequential. And I think that's a lot of why society has ultimately lost its way. So I want to thank everybody for watching the videos so far, and I hope you'll stay tuned in the future. I make these videos because people helped me learn all of this stuff, otherwise I wouldn't have known hardly any of it. And it was a really long, slow, tedious process over almost 40 years to learn what I know now, and I'm still learning every day. It is so fortunate for people who are growing up today, though, when you can get so much information over the internet. You have no idea how difficult it used to be to learn this type of information, and now you can, you know, just find it all very quickly. So it's a great time to be alive in many ways. And you can see kind of a new consensus forming. You can see people becoming more educated and building a, a belief system which will carry them forward past the problems that our current society faces. And uh, it's just great to be a part of that, and everyone can play their own part. Just by educating yourself, by changing your own life, and dealing with issues in your own life, and hopefully by teaching other people, and sharing this information with other people in whatever capacity you have. You know, teaching information is really important for a lot of reasons. It helps reinforce it in your own mind, it helps you learn more as people question you and you have to investigate further. People bring up things that you hadn't considered. Sharing information is, is a vital part of the learning process and I hope everyone will share whatever information they feel confident with and whatever they feel they have the ability to share with others.